Welcome back to the Auto Car Show. Hope you're enjoying watching the performance show with us. In the first segment, you saw all the cars, all the eye candy. In this segment, we talk to you about what you can do with your car after you buy it. Or then, designing a car yourself as well. Well, when Design Guru DC takes to the pen and paper, this is what you get. The massive imperator. The Imperator is impressive in its design and dimension, but probably way too futuristic. What was far more practical was what DC can do for your fortuner. Now all of that costs just about 5.5 lakhs. I guess these days owning a car is just not enough and people want to upgrade even that. So the performance show has everything from sound systems to alloys, mag wheels to maintenance products. There were even some lifestyle vehicles like the Mahindra Thar. But the value addition we thought most practical was the one at Mapma India. We've introduced car for the first time in India door to door navigation. So we brought house addresses into our navigator so you can type a house address in and reach your destination. You can type an office name, reach the destination, type a building name, reach it. So for the first time there's door to door navigation now in India. In terms of cities where door to door navigation is, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Thane, uh, Chandigarh, Panchkula, Mohali, New Delhi, Gurgaon, Faridabad, Bangalore, etc. all have come in with door to door navigation. We found that people in the car want a couple of things. They want navigation as an information tool, they want connectivity in terms of being able to communicate with people in the outside world and they want entertainment. So with it, uh, and actually that's what we've coined this term called Navitainment where you have an in-car navigation system which is also capable of providing entertainment. And we've uh, introduced something called a premium AVN, audio video navigation system, which has two GLC screens which are all independent. So the driver in the front can use for navigation and people in the back seat can either watch a movie or listen to music and uh, or vice versa. <laughs> Now, for those of you who are disappointed because you're saying, I still can't own a car and drive one, what's all this about cars? Here's a way to have fun even when you can't drive. Radio controlled cars. We're here with Imran, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the radio controlled cars, what they cost, how you can get them, and all the fun that you can have driving them yourself. So, uh, Imran, um, what's like the entry level car like into something like this? If someone were to pick up this hobby, what would it cost them? Entry level is as low as 15, 16,000 rupees, which is peanuts today. Toys cost much more than that. The good part about these toys are that they are practically usable for years. Every part can be replaced. Anything goes wrong, you can replace them, just like a real car. They can do a top speed of maybe 100, 110 km an hour also. So you have all that rush in you and you can have all that fun without even being inside and taking care of your own self. If you're into racing, you have something like this, that's a buggy. If you're more off-roading, you want to go, you know, just take any terrain, maybe a beach, buy a monster truck, you know, then there are on-road cars which are low to the ground, need flat surface. While talking about cars lower to the ground, reminded us of a bunch of enthusiastic students that were here last year, struggling to raise enough money to build their own formula car to enter the formula student Germany. Well, they were here again. What did they build? This is basically Orion Racing India and we're actually a student racing team and we participate in an in international design event called Formula Student Germany which is basically Formula 1 at the student level and we're judged by people from the Formula 1 circuit itself and this is the car that we built and took to Germany this August. We have a 600cc Honda CBR engine. These are carbon fiber bodywork, the suspension, we use Olin dampers and we have regular suspension and everything else is pretty much made by students. Top speed right now tested is about 150 kilometers and it is capable of reaching 180 kilometers an hour. Well, what do you know? All of that got them the third prize. There was some two-wheeler action too with Honda running a safety course which had bikes for everyone to try out. And Mahindra and Mahindra have their off-road course as well which attracts participants year on year and gives them loads of fun. Two wheelers or four, 
be it buying the car or aftermarket, or even if you don't drive, there's been enough action for every kind of car crazy person here at the Auto Car Performance Show. Like I told you, it's bolder, it's bigger, it's better, and we hope you've enjoyed watching it with us.